watching the Corvette channel. Here's my new one restrictor that I just got. Please check out the link below and also mention the Corvette channel so you can get your 10% discount when you go to order yours. Welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be installing a wind restrictor on a C7 Corvette convertible. Now this install is going to be a lot less uh, a work than we've done on the other videos that you've seen before where we've done them on the C5 and the, and the C7 Coupe. So this is going to be real simple um, and it shouldn't take very much time. Um, I'm going to show you basically what we've got going on here, what you get in the kit. Uh, this is the restrictor itself and the bracket. It already comes, the bracket already comes mounted onto the restrictor and it just has the two-sided stick tape here and on the other side over on Dan's side over here. Now all we're going to do is we're going to pre-fit pre this, we're going to set it in place, we're going to mark it with some blue tape um, and that way we get it exactly where we want it and then we'll be able to pull this back loose. Might, uh, if you have, if you've elected to buy the uh, lighting kit for it, it would come with this light bar at the bottom with this already pre-installed, with the plug-in pre-installed and there is no wiring into the car itself. It comes with a battery pack that is rechargeable and you would plug this in into a charger in the wall you charge this up about five or six hours they get you about 30 to 35 hours of, uh, of, of lighting time so um, you don't have to deal with worrying about getting into the electrical uh, on the cars like like all the other kits that we've done before the first thing that we want to do here is that we're going to go ahead and clean the top parts of the, tu the tunnel off with uh, some alcohol swabs. So we're just going to wipe this off right here. I'm probably going a little bit more overkill, but if you do the, the front side of it as well as the top. It's like so, because this is where the only point where the brackets are actually going to touch. So we're going to let that dry. If you have two people, it makes it just that much easier. Uh, to be able to set this up here so you don't take the chance of scratching anything. Um, if you're just one person, just be really careful when you set this in place. And you're just going to set it up here at first. And what you're trying to do is to take the two screws that are right here and right here and line them up with the body contour right here that you can see. Um, and so you want to get that centered. And that looks like it's pretty darn close right there. Okay. And so once you're happy with that, then what you do is you come over here and you hold on to the bracket. Now Tom is going to hold, hold that side for me so I can actually get my tape. And I've already got my tape tore, so it's a little bit easier for me here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just literally marking where the bracket is sitting so I can pull the bracket loose and pull the tape off. Okay, just like that. So I'm just putting, putting this here like that. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay. And we've made sure it's nice and tight there. Just like that. This way we'll know exactly where to put it back. So now that we've got that, we can go ahead and we can remove the restrictor now.
So we're about ready to go ahead and we're going to heat this up with a hair dryer. Now if you're using a heat gun, don't use it more than three to five seconds, otherwise you're just going to melt this. Uh, on a hair dryer you can use five to ten seconds uh, just because it's not as strong. All right, and then we're going to do that to the other side real quick. So now what we're doing is we're going to put these, these uh, tabs right in that spot. Now when we go to do that, we're going to lightly set it in place, and then we're going to press down and back at the same time to make sure that we get a good bond. So we're going to come down with it, and we're going to go back to our tape marks here. Are you pretty close right there? Pretty close. You good? Okay, I'm just going to set mine in place. So now we're going to push down and back toward the tunnel. Now all we need to do is just go ahead and remove the tape. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is we need to install the, the battery unit. We're going to go ahead and plug the electrical system from the restrictor itself into the unit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it up in there like so, up the very top of the tunnel. We're going to move it over to the edge and then at that point we'll press and we'll hold it there and get the the glue to stick. Okay, just like that. So now the only thing that we have to do after this is done is that we're going to have to tuck this wire up there. We don't want any wire um, just hanging because when the when the the uh, top mechanism goes to move we don't want anything hanging that get, could get caught. So we'll um, That'll be the next step that we do is we'll we'll tuck that wire up and away. Once we had the we got the Velcro mounted up underneath, what we wanted to do is we wanted to be able to tuck this wire away, and the wire is a little bit long. So I pulled this back down, and what you're gonna have to do, like I just had to do, is I just found the happy spot of where when this is looking really nice and snug, where it actually needs to go. So I took a I'm going to take a wire tie here, and I'm just going to wire tie it like so. Now I found out that by by bending it around like this, this shortens it up just enough that it, when I put the box back up there, the battery itself back up in there, it will actually uh, be fairly tight, and it will not be getting in the way um, of the top when it opens and closes. So you can see right here, I'm just literally just tightening that up like so. And then I'm going to cut these brackets, or cut these wire ties off like that. Okay. And then we can plug our unit back in. Just like that. You can tuck this right up in there. And we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and give it a try now. We've got it in place, and Tom's going to go ahead and activate it. We'll make sure that we have all the clearances and everything's fine. And it looks like everything's good. You can see down there that it's definitely got plenty of space, so we're good to go. Okay, so for those of you that decided to get the uh, multi -light, or multi color light kit, uh, you can see the remote is here in front, and I wanted to be able to do that so you can see the uh, restrictor actually working right now. Now, uh, the remote is very simple. It comes with a little uh, instruction sheet, and right now, as you can see, it's doing a lot of d things on its own. It's in a demo mode, which is right here, dead in center. And that's pretty cool because it shows you just everything that the system does. Um, the uh, You have a a on and off button here and you have the the speed up and down uh, as far as what it's doing and how it's changing you also can select the different colors and you can also select the brightness so when you are uh, during the day or you know getting dusk you want it to be nice and bright you want it to show it off you can turn it up when you're driving at, at night you're going to want to be able to turn that down some so uh, just follow the instructions and it, you it'll walk you right through it but um, most likely what you'll end up doing almost all the time is doing an on and off and the demo and that's going to be just about it but uh, if you want to get real fancy just follow the instructions Hey there! Yeah. 
okay. definitely notice a, a difference in the wind. You do. And it's much quieter. Yeah, it is. Especially yeah. much when quieter. the windows are up, there's like virtually, you know, I have a severe hearing loss. And so um, I can hear him a lot better. And so if they're looking to say, you know, hey, does it do what, the, this does what it says it does, you know, whatever you promised, the answer is yes. So you notice, like I said, when the windows are up, but it's nice because there's definitely a wind reduction when the windows are down as well. Because I can just tell, like before, you know, more of my hair, and even if it was just pulled up through here, more of my hair was flying up. But more <laughs> like a, you know, it doesn't it doesn't fly up as much. But it's awesome though, because you don't hear, you don't have all that stuff. You know what? I don't have to tell them that. You're on camera, and you're oh, telling them that right, right now. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we're so doing sorry. great. I just let no, you keep okay. talking. So you, it's better than I could say. You know, it's totally thing, I was thinking the same thing, Scott. I was Absolutely. like, Absolutely. that camera's still rolling. You, all you hear the the wind uh, from the GoPro up here? You hear the wind? Without it, if it wasn't up there, it would just be just hugely quiet in here. Hugely benefited, beneficial for us because with our hearing loss, now she can hear me a lot Very easier. easily. That's I mean, awesome. Yeah. It's like, it's like, just, there's nothing. It's just like still air. Yeah. You know, obviously, you still get a little bit of airflow from even when the windows are up. It's just so different. Well, that's awesome because... I've only been focusing, and I, I don't know. I don't know if Wind Restrictor has been focusing on the sound, yeah, but difference. I've been focusing on just the airflow because yeah. of you know Jennifer's hair is just yeah. so long, and it yeah she's a ton know, of hair, and it always comes flying straight forward. Yeah, at her. Yes. yeah. And so that stopped. Her hair just lays, lays down there. now. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Isn't it? But we weren't really talking about the sound. You definitely but, notice a difference. But that, that's you definitely awesome. notice I'm glad a you difference. guys brought that to our attention. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. something that the viewers now know yeah. that that helps too. Yeah. So, so it looks good, good right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it really <laughs> does. It really it does. does. <laughs> well, we got the thumbs up from four young guys riding in a very nice Mercedes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, I'm glad you guys are happy. Now, we are very happy. Thank you. Did you get because of having a GoPro? Yeah. They're like, what is that? What's going on? This is California. I want to be on camera too. <laughs> Get me in there. Is that the new Google car? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shoot, they wish. You'd have everybody and their brother wanting to be a really? Google driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's, it. That's pretty um, funny. That's well, good. Very cool, we really guys. appreciate yeah. all of this. Absolutely. We can't, can't thank you enough. Stephen over at Wind Restrictor for sponsoring the Corvette channel and helping us get where we're at today. Um, without your help, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. We've been able to put out some really cool videos and um, it's really making a difference. It's helping our channel grow and uh, we're doing it with quality and we're doing it with quality product and I really appreciate that guys. So thank you very much. Guys, thank you for watching today and I really hope you found this informative and helpful and when you go to do yours, your wind restrictor that you are not afraid of doing it yourself and that you can just go ahead and order one up, go ahead and install it and you'll be good to go. You guys, thanks for watching you have a good night. Thanks for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads.